This is the reality of setting up an overhead setup with a little tripod. It's getting that exact angle that you're looking for. I'm hoping that this new setup will make all the difference in that way. This is exactly where I want to get a C-stand so I can film and not have to worry about this thing falling over. Okay, well that's not too bad. So we'll start by opening it up. Whoever said making unboxing videos is easy is crazy. It looks like we start out by setting up the base. Oh, there we go. That must be right. Then it says to insert the pipe into the turtle base. So you can see that once the C-stand hole has been attached, look how tall it goes. Difficult to film this particular part because this piece right here was connected to this piece here. And then I was able to attach the crossbar for the C-stand to that part. And to the best of my knowledge, it's, it's put together correctly. You can see that the bar runs all the way down crossways to the stand. And that's how it's supposed to be. So all you do is tighten these screws here and it tightens everything up so that you can use it accordingly. And this is what the C-stand looks like when you lift it up further. You can see that the pole comes out and goes up. And actually, when I pulled, when I unscrewed this piece, this popped up kind of unexpectedly, and it has a lot of force, so it goes up almost hydraulically. And you can see that it has this long pole now that will go vertically. So I guess the next step is to figure out how to attach the pieces to the C-stand to finish off the process. I'm gonna use this for filming so we have other pieces to attach. We have this um, Iron Man phone clip from the brand Ulanzi, and this is going to be what we attach to the C-stand to hold the phone. And then we also have this clamp to attach to the C-stand hold the clip that I just showed you. So we're going to unbox both of these. It seems like there's a lot of products out there for regular cameras, but not for phones. Okay, so this is the Iron Man. That is very much metal, but that's good. Metal is less easy to break. <laughs> so yeah, wow. And I'm assuming that the phone can be put in different directions based on the way this turns. Small rig. They make products for phones and cameras. So this is the grip that goes onto the C-stand. And again, it feels like it's a lot of metal parts, which I like, so that will help get the phone attached to the C-stand. All right, moving on. We are going to attach the small rig to the, phone's, the phone holder. So I was looking at it and it's pretty obvious that there's a hole and a screw that attaches to that hole. So I'm gonna, it looks like you actually have to tighten it this way. Yes, there we go. So by screwing the small rig onto the clamp, onto the phone mount, that's how you get it tight. And then you can adjust it all the way like this and it can bend down. You can film overhead. So that is what it looks like connected. And we will attempt to attach it to the C-stand. So to un 
screw this clamp. We're just going to turn this and you can see it opens up the little hook, the mouth hook, and that's going to be what goes onto the bar. Okay, so it took me a couple of minutes, but I was able to figure out how to attach this with the phone mount. And so you can see the clip has a lot of versatility because it can be clipped in any direction. And then I can attach my phone to this. And so this will swivel to go one way or the other. Really cool. It even will go upright if I want it to. So I can film like that. This thing is really, really cool. Not to mention the fact that it goes so much higher than my height. So I can actually film myself straight on. I will show you how this looks in this video so you can see what it actually looks like set up. I'm not giving up on my small tripod, but I feel like this is a huge upgrade that is well overdue. So let's move forward. All right, so you can see that I have it set up slightly differently. I put this vertically so that it would have more support. And then I put the mount next to it. What we're trying to do is get just this table in the shot, see a bright light to the side because my lamp is right next to me. But this is, I think, definitely getting closer to what a top-down video should look like. I started this channel as a way to hopefully inspire someone to go after their dreams. You see, I resisted my own dreams for a long, long time. I would think about it and then I would lay it aside. And then one day I realized the only one that's holding me back from my dreams is me. And if I stop being so perfectionistic about it, I could actually get something done. And you know what happened? Great things happened. I started creating. I started letting out what I wanted to let out for so long. I just want to encourage anybody that's out there, you have a dream on your heart, don't stop. Don't slow down. Press forward. Answer the call. Whatever it is you want to do, do it. And do it now. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like my videos, consider subscribing. It helps me a lot because I'm a new channel. Thanks again.